Hey everybody, welcome back to another Brawl Stars video. Today we're just playing some Lone Star and talking about pretty much just like what's gonna be coming up on the channel soon here. So basically, as you guys know, the World Cup qualifier is going on for North America and around the world too. But I'm from North America, so that's what we're gonna focus on. And basically, those are happening Sunday, so I'm gonna show some gameplay from those. Sunday coming up. Now I'm gonna put some gameplay from those on the channel. We got we face Ajax in the first round, and then if we make it to the finals, we'll probably play Space Station 2, so it should be some really good games. And also coming up tomorrow is Gamely. It's, uh, it was shown on my channel before, it's the Season 3 of their NA tournaments. The first place prize is like a thousand, or f the total prize was like a thousand dollars. First place is like 400. So I'll be showing some gameplay from those on my channel soon, so stay tuned for that. However, today we'll be playing some Lone Star. We're just pretty much just gonna talk about like how I've been playing it and my pretty much opinions on it. It was all the update too. So like over with the update, like in terms of the meta and stuff, I really think that it was like a pretty good update. Like it didn't make me hate the game or anything. So I guess that's good. But first thing I least like about it is the meta. Like Sandy's obviously like way too OP and some of the other brawlers like and the majority of the last of the brawlers from the last meta that were OP are also OP in this meta, so you really change anything on that front. However, I do think that like if you just nerf Sandy, the meta will still be pretty balanced for the most part. Except for maybe Tick, I think Tick needs a nerf for sure. But anyways, just talking about Lone Star. I think Lone Star is definitely running takedown. Takedown just seems kind of like I'm just dumb, like everyone just runs to the robot. I don't know, it's not really that good for 3-3. However, I do think Lone Star is a lot of fun. There's not really like much of like a point to like stay alive in it. You pretty much just like run in and just get kills. And if you die, it's like who cares? As long as you don't like give stars to someone you're close to, like you've just been killing the same like trash Shelly the entire game. You can just like purposely die, give like your seven stars to them, so that like, you don't give someone you're close to. Like, but the other, there's like not really like a stay alive mechanic. Like you don't have like power ups or anything. So there's like. You're not gonna like lose all your power-ups if you die. The only thing you are going to lose is your position, but if you just play a brawler that's like an assassin, which I think the best brawlers this mode, like Leon, Daryl, stuff like that, where you pretty much just like go and get kills, you maybe die, but you have your super now, so it's not really that big of a deal. I think those are the best brawlers this mode. Initially I thought that like you should play like Piper because you don't want to like die, you just wanna sit back and do damage, but that's obviously not really the case because you pretty much just like want to just run and get kills if possible. You also want to pretty good at finishing kills, so Piper is good at that. However, like a bar like Crow or something where you just like sit back and do damage with a time. Those bars are really bad for the smoke because you just get your kills stolen. However, if you play something like a Leon, you can just like run in and blow someone up. Not like blow someone up in terms of like explosion, but just like blow someone up in terms of like destroying the health pretty quickly. And you just get your stars, and if you die, it's like who cares? You probably have your supers, you can just run in really fast. Another thing, brawlers in this mode, like brawlers with speed are pretty good because sometimes you just like spawn way on the outside, you have to like run all the way back in. So if you're like a brawler like Slick Boots Cold or like Leon or like Daryl Roll or something, you can just like get back in the action because possible, it's really good too. And uh, yeah, overall, I really enjoy the mode. I think it is pretty good for the game. The, the extra slots nice, you get extra star keys so you can max your account a lot quicker. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much all I have to say about Lone Star. I'm mean, now just going to like comment over some games. So I'm in the first match here. When I mean, you start in the game, I just think a good thing to do is to position in the middle because, especially on this map, but like in maps in general, like if you get position in the middle, usually there'll be people coming towards you. They won't know where you're at, or like you won't be like getting killed by people on the outside because sometimes people like spawn right on top of you and you'll just die right away. So I definitely recommend just like going to the middle as possible in your position. And this mode is pretty easy to gain trophies in. Like first place, I know it's the same thing as Showdown, but this mode is like I think there's a lot less RNG compared. There's still some RNG with like sp the spawns sometimes, but compared for like people just going to for you and killing you, there's not that much RNG. But as you just see me here doing like once you get position, you're pretty much good. Especially with Leon, you get like your super and stuff. And you see, like, I died with five stars there, but it really doesn't matter unless, like, that bow is close to being stars, which I don't know if he is. But, like, if you're just, like, keeping track of it, you should be that big of a deal. And you see, like, me killing that crow just give you a few stars. 
and I'm gonna die there to the gene, but it doesn't really matter. And especially with like Leon, like you can just sneak on the person with a lot of stars. So you're always gonna focus those because like if you spend all your time getting two stars for kill, and you keep be getting doing it for like four or five stars than someone else, you're always gonna be a lot less efficient. So you definitely go for the high st star people. I know it's kind of obvious, but sometimes you just might like go for the easy target if they're low health or something. Like even if they're low health, but you have to like chase them around the wall for like five minutes to try to go for the pinch. Like it's probably still not worth it. I do think like Leon and Cole are probably the two best followers of this mode. I haven't really played it a whole lot, but like I played it for like 20 minutes in between classes one day and I was going off those brawlers more so than anyone else. But this mode is pretty fun. Alright, so I'm in this back here. You see I spawned right on the middle, so I always got the huge advantage. Like, I just get I get a free star in a position, so I can just stand here and bait it just like that. I was gonna get the kill, but I think someone else shot me, so I lost the item fight. It's whatever though, I still got the stars, so like every star counts, you know. And this, this is the only thing I love this mode is like the RNG from the spawns. Because like me spawning in the middle just gave you a huge advantage. It didn't really work for me there, but just like in general, if this mode is ever considered like competitive, which I don't think it's going to be, like I think like esports really thrives and it's like a team component. There are really only like solo esports, like StarCraft, maybe like Fortnite solos, but even then, like I think like the duo competitions were popular. And like I know they're doing like squads now, but anyways. I don't really think this has much good competitive potential for it, but I still think it's a fun thing to do. Just like you don't want to like deal with random, you just want to like pull out your phone, gain a few trophies, as we're about randoms, and you also hate showdown. Like I think it's perfect for that demographic. I think I would probably fall into that if I'm just like in between classes or something, just want to have fun. So I think Supercell definitely hit the nail on the head there. And uh, yeah, I definitely think it's pretty good for the game, but I don't really think it's gonna be much for competitive. You see, like, I'm just kind of running through people with Leon here. Leon's, I don't know if she's really playing his boss, but, like, I felt like I was just, like, winning everything with Leon. Just throughout this match. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to stay at the lookout for the competitive gameplay coming up. We got the Gamely, and then we also have the regional qualifiers coming up. So I've been scribbling off for those. Should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. And uh yeah, see you next time guys.